Hey guys, my name is Lily. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to become the woman you desire to be. Let's get straight into the video. The first thing is know who you want to be. Have a clear vision or clear goal of the person you want to be. What does a person look like? What would the person want to eat? What does she like to do? Or what skills does the person have? How will she love her lifestyle to be? All these things are things that you have to ask yourself and then it will give you a clear understanding of what that the person want to be. Second thing is appearance or the clothing. Woman I envision to be is a classy, bold, beautiful, elegant woman. I realized that person doesn't have to show so much skin. And then I started just tuning in on my wearing. I started just being modesty, but also being classy. Because people don't just understand. You can still look so beautiful without showing too much skin. And just look so elegant, classy. And you can still get so much respect out of you just wearing your modesty clothes. But, you know, our generation really forces people to feel like, oh, you showing so much skin is how attractive you can be. But actually, you can really be just beautiful and classy and modesty for just wearing your covered clothes. So that's where I started learning that. And then I started practicing. I love my two-piece. I love my dresses. I love covered, curvy, and just feel so beautiful. Another thing is be ambitious or goal-oriented. Or what skill do you have that you can use? Start learning something new. Like use the skills that you have. What goals or ambitions do you have? Are you working on them? What are you doing to work on them? Because for me, woman, I desire to be is a woman who is goal oriented, stand on business and who gets it together, like who puts everything together. That's the woman I envision to be. Because I remember on my end, when I got married and then I wanted kids and then I started thinking, okay, so once I have kids, I have to stop doing my career. I have to do this. I have to do that. And I started stressing so much. If I tell you when I got pregnant, I applied into like 50, 70 jobs. I did so many interviews until I got the job that I really want. And that was able for me to work while I have my child. So once you have the certain goal, you can just keep pushing the goal and work on it. And trust me, you will get it. So I was so stressed out trying to find a job that I can still work from home. I can still take care of my child because I did not want to rush and take my child to daycare. At the same time, I just didn't see myself just staying home, not working. I had to fight for that goal. And I'm so glad I have such a supportive partner who supported me in this because I always wanted to be called somebody else than just somebody's mom or just somebody's wife. I want my daughter to look at me and know like she had a strong mom. She had a hardworking mom and she just wants to be just like me. I love that for her. I want that for her. So that's why I always told myself, I want to be just called just a mom. I've seen a lot of people, once you have a child and you all into motherhood, it's so easy for you to lose yourself in motherhood. And I've been there before. So I just do not want to lose myself in motherhood. Of the day, it all depends on what goals you have or what goals you aiming for. And I'll tell you, like, stick to those goals. Once you have those goals aligned and once you start taking care of those goals, trust me, you will get them. And you just have to be patient for that because most of the people are not patient and they get disappointed. But there are setbacks. There are challenges. But you got this. Another thing I really started planning and organizing. This is something that I really want to change in my life because I feel like once you start planning, you start organizing, like organizing your room, organizing your house, okay, planning travel adventures, just planning like housewarming parties, planning all this. I feel like my world or my life was so put together. Just me arranging or organizing my kitchen makes me feel like 
I have my life together. Just laying the bed when I wake up in the morning and my whole house is sparkly clean and is organized, everything is in place. I feel so accomplished. It's my goal. Like I want to plan. I want to start organizing, like planning family trips. And I can assure you, it really helped me even on planning my day to day. In every single day, like my day to day, I already wake up. I already have a plan on what I'm going to do when I get up. When I wake up in the morning, I plan and I know exactly I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to do this today. I'm going. So I get so much done because I'm already planning ahead. Even like right now, I can even plan for the future. Like what do I want in the future and stuff. Also started building meaningful relationships. That's something that I've really struggled because I had a bunch of friends, a bunch of people around me where we were not really motivating each other. We're not really helping each other to grow. It was always just, you know, parties and all these things that really don't make sense stage we're at right now. And then I started really building meaningful relationship with people, you know, relationship that uplifts me. I started being around people. We have the same mindset. We have the same goals. We uplift each other. We encourage each other. And these are the things that I, when I started doing this, my whole life changed. I, I started seeing things differently. I started seeing people differently. And I started even feeling good about myself because I felt like, oh, there are other females out there I can connect you have you ever been somewhere where a bunch of females but you don't feel connected at all i've been in those rooms before i've been in rooms where people say oh you know come we're motivating each other we have these events we have these you know let's let's get together and stuff but then when you get there everybody are just trying to do their own thing nobody is trying to connect nobody's trying everybody just have their own purpose and then you feel like you are with a lot of people but you feel alone i've been in those places before but right now me building meaningful relationship with people relationship that makes us grow have the same mindset to help each other here and there where we can but it just feels good to know that there are people out there who are there for you there are people out there who will fight for you there are people out there who will really really uplift you and those are the people you need to be around because it will really help you grow it will really help you motivate it will really help you in your day to day it will really encourage you to do better too. because a lot of people i found that they don't do better it's not because they don't want to but also they don't have that push from somebody who trusts in them who believe in them and who always tells them that they can do it we all struggle in one way or the other some people they don't trust themselves they don't trust what they're doing they always need somebody else to tell them and that's okay. But also you need to have the trust in yourself. You need to have that confidence in yourself. You need to have that motivation, your self-motivation first before somebody comes and motivates you. I had that in me. It reached a point I started saying, okay, you know what? I started having this self-confidence. I started trusting myself that I can do it. I started trusting myself to go into places to meet people who are just like me and then just getting them there helped me now to feel more confident, to feel more trustworthy, to feel more empowered. So you have to, it has to start in you and then it needs to grow outside. By some people, it just works different. But I'm here to tell you, trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Have your self-confidence. Have your self-motivation. Because there's nobody out there who will motivate you, who will trust you, or who will give you all those confidence if you don't give it to yourself first. I also stopped comparing myself with other people. That's another tip. Because once you start comparing yourself with other people, you will lose your focus. Because you're busy looking at what other person is doing and then not looking on your plate. Before you know it, you just lost your focus. So I just started being myself. I started just doing my own thing. I don't care what anyone else is doing. But as long as I am doing this and I focus on doing that, I came to realize I get a lot of things done. I accomplish a lot of things in my life. But once I started sitting there comparing myself with somebody else, oh, this person is doing this. Now let me do this. Before you know it, that's not what you want to do. But because... You're busy, you know, looking at somebody else who is doing a little bit just like you. 
you serve and you go in a whole different direction well that wasn't the plan just because you're just busy comparing yourself with somebody else and just the same thing i know it's really hard to not compare yourself with somebody else but we just need to stop comparing ourselves with other people we just have to because it reached a point we have to just be ourselves and do our own thing and not lose focus because the fastest way to lose focus is to watch what someone else is doing and you want to do the same thing and before you know it you're losing what you really want to do what you wanted to do is not that but because you're so focused on somebody else's plate you end up doing what the person is doing and before you know it you wasted a lot of time you wasted a lot of money and that's what exactly i started doing i stayed on my own lane i just you know continue being myself and i stopped comparing myself with other people another thing i started practicing work-life balance it is so important ladies we work too hard for us to not even enjoy the money we're working for we work too hard for just not even going on trips i started traveling more i started going outside more i started going to dinners more i started just doing the things that i love to do outside of working we work too hard we're always busy we're always occupied to not even try to enjoy our money you know there are people out here who never even went to vacations all they do is work stop you need to start practicing life work balance you need to because you have a life outside your work I understand we need money I understand we need to pay bills but life is not waiting for us at the end of the day we'll all leave this money here we'll all leave this money behind so mind as well take yourself on that date take yourself on that trip travel go see the beautiful places out there take yourself out like try to just do things that are spontaneous and i started doing that i started traveling with our families i started traveling with my daughter i started making her explore and try and see different people try new foods know people's culture i started doing that and if I tell you, it's the best decision we have ever made. I also started reading more educational books, listening to podcasts that will motivate me and just stimulate my mind. But you won't find me really listening to music and really enjoying just by myself with my headphones now. So I just put my headphones on. I just start listening to podcasts. I have my favorite podcast. I have my favorite books that I um, that I listen to and I love audiobooks. Audiobooks help me. I feel like when I sit down and read a book, I lose focus or I lose concentration. And because when I just be silently reading, my mind goes in 10 different places. So I started using audiobooks and I can just do my regular things while listening to audiobooks because I feel like it's so smoothing and it stimulates my mind. And that's what I've been doing. Also podcasts. I love listening to podcasts. So that's something else that I've started doing that really helped me in my day-to-day -day basis. Because I used to read books a lot back then, but then there's a point of time I stopped and then I came back to it. But now I cannot just sit down and read a book. I read mostly audiobooks and it really helped me. And lastly, when it comes to talking about goals, like if you look at this channel, I created this channel in 2012. 2012. And if I tell you since 2012, I literally just started posting end of last year. But this is one of my goals I started this year. I said this year I want to start posting content and I started posting content. Please, if you still want to subscribe to your girly and support her, please do. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also just share as usual, share some of your tips or some of the things that helped you to become the woman you desire. And thank you so much for watching. Please come back for more content. Bye.